Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Oh, we got a great one for you today. And this gets requested quite often. We got a full width video background here with a text overlay. And we got that text sliding from one thing to another. Of course, they can click on the call to action button. We've got some little navigation arrows up here as well as some pagination here that will take you to each of these text slides here. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today at all. So let's get started. I'm gonna enable the visual build. And let's go down to where we wanna work. And I'm just gonna delete this section and we'll start from scratch. Well, let's go ahead and add a new section. I'm gonna use a regular section on this. You can use a full width section if you want to. In my section, I'm going to put a single column. And we're going to use a Divi slider module today. If we roll down here, there's our slider. And by default, it puts in two slides. Now we're going to put an MP4 background in the background of this section today. I did one recently with a YouTube video and somebody asked for an MP4. So that's what we got going today. I'm going to delete my second slide. I'm going to go into my first slide here. And I've got a little co bit of content saved over here. We'll give it a header. Put whatever you want your button to say there. If you don't want a button, just delete that. It'll get rid of the button for you. I like to have a call to action button on mine. So I'm going to hit Control Z to bring it back. And let's throw in a bit of content here. I've got it fairly short. I think I've got 40 words or so on these. Let's pop that in there. Great. Well, I'm going to go down to the background. It's got a default blue background on it. I'm going to put a black one in there. But I'm going to click on the color field. I'm going to take that opacity down. So it's fairly see-through. What you're seeing, why it's going gray, is we're seeing the white background in there. That way, if you've got a busy video or something, you can bring the opacity up and down. And it'll give a nice dark overlay to your writing here and it'll still be nice and legible that's great when you're happy save your changes that'll take you back to the main slider settings i'm going to clone this one twice what i'll do is i'll pause the video because all i'm going to do is go in and change the title and the image here okay i've just done my third one there what i didn't mention before is down below is where you put the link to where you want to take them with your button. If you want the whole module, this whole gray area here to link to somewhere, you can put the same link or a different link in here. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site to a new site, open it in a new tab. That way your site stays open. Great, so let's save that. I'll take us back to the main slider settings here. And there's our three slides. Now under the elements here, you can choose whether to show the arrows over here and the pagination there, or controls as they call it here. I'm happy for those to both be there. That way it gives your users a better experience. They can interact with it a little bit more by going to the different pages by using those. And we'll save the main slider settings. And we'll put our little video in the background here. And at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can get some great downloadable MP4s. So let's go into the section. I'm going to go down to background. Now, anytime you use a video in the background of the section, I would recommend you put either a color or a gradient in as well. That way, if your video takes a bit of time to load, they've got a background in there so they can see everything that's going on nicely. So I'm going to chuck a little gradient, simple gradient in mine. I've clicked on gradient there. Add background gradient. I'm going to make mine black at the top and almost black at the bottom. So I'm going to click on this one. And let's get color palette up. I'll make it that color at the bottom. That way, if the video doesn't load, they've got this to sit in the background and we can read the writing and see the button and everything perfectly. Great. Well, let's move over now to background video. And here, we're going to hit add background video. It'll take you to your media library here and you can insert it from a URL. Or you can up upload one locally. I'm uploading one locally. One thing you want to bear in mind when you're uploading videos locally is you don't want them to be too big and too long. They will slow your site down a lot. So I've got a fairly small one here, but it's quite 
nice and it does what I want it to do. It's three megabytes. So let's go ahead and upload that. And as you can see, that's loaded that in the background there. Perfect. Just exactly what I wanted. Now we've put a little color overlay over our little slider there. I want that to be, I don't want this gap at the bottom and the top. You can make this full width and have it covering if you want to. As this is a dark video, I'm just going to take any padding away from the top of both the section and the row. And that'll cover it nicely so we can see our writing. So still in the section, I'm going to go to design. Spacing. Padding top and bottom, I'm going to put a zero in there. I'll take most of it away. We can get the rest of it in the row. Now, if you decide you want this section to be full screen, that's really easy to do. If we go up to sizing here, we can make it height 100 VH or viewable height. That'll be 100% of a viewable height of whatever device you want to look at it on. And of course, you just need to add a bit of padding to the top to bring this down in the middle. But I'm happy with it to be a lot shorter than that. So I'm going to leave it on auto by deleting that. It'll go back to normal. Great. I just want to take that little bit away on the bottom there, which is in the row. Green tab for the row there. And we'll do the same thing over in design and spacing. Padding top zero. Hit the chain. It'll do the bottom. Great. And that works perfectly for me. It's the size I want it. It's the videos running. They can read the writing and click on there. But of course, I'd like this to be fully animated. I'd like it to spin through our three slides there. So we'll save our changes there. We'll go back into our little slider here and we'll animate it. Over in design, right down the bottom, you'll find animation. And it's not these animation styles. These animation styles are the way it's going to load when the page loads. For instance, if I hit that one, It'll sort of fold in like that. I'm happy to have none on that. We want the actual slides to animate. That's automatic animation down here. Now, if you don't see this, the chances are you're actually in your slide. So if we go back to content over here, go into one of these slides here, over to the design, there's no animation down at the bottom there. I get this question every time I do one of these sliders. So if that's the case, just save it. It'll take you back to the main slider settings where we want to be over in design animation. We can turn that on. And by default, it's going to do it every seven seconds. I'm going to speed it up to maybe five seconds. And by default, when you put your mouse over it, it's going to stop, which is great. I like that because it gives them a chance to read it and click on the call to action button. If you want it to keep going without doing that, just flip that from off to on. Well, I think we've done everything correctly now, so we should be good to go. Let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And there we have it. If we roll on down, there's our full width video background slider with text overlay there. And that's nice. And like I say, you can put your mouse over it. It'll stop. You can read the writing. Click on the call to action button. Navigate back and forth if you want to with the pagination dots there. Or you can do it with the arrows over here. And that's a great little eye-catching feature to have on your site. And as you can see, really easy to do. So as promised, I'll tell you where I got all these videos from. Well, this particular video. And I do get a lot of videos from here. It's a place called Pexels. Let's move this over here. And it's pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. And I just went in there. I switched it to video. You can do photos as well. There's some great stock photos in there. And just go down to whatever one you want. If you roll over it, It'll give you an example. That's pretty cool. I use this one down here. And I just clicked on the image itself. Don't hit the regular download because 
as I mentioned earlier, you don't want to have a real big file size. It will slow your server down. So if we click on the little chevron up here, it gives us various different file sizes that we can download. I think I did HD and it was just three megs. You can do full high D. Some of these are in 4K and they're great, but I wouldn't recommend putting them on your website like that. They just take up too much resource. So when you're happy, just select one. It'll put a check mark by it. Hit download selected size. As you can see, downloads it there. For my browser, I'm using Google Chrome here. There it is, pexels.com. Like I say, they've got videos and they've got photos and they've got some absolute awesome things on there. Check the licenses. Most of these are free to use on your websites. It's always a good idea to check licenses. So there we go, guys. There's a full width video background section with text overlay. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.